um, so we had Bray Wyatt and he was saying, I'm waiting for you. <laughs> Pretty much. He had a hammer. <laughs> I'm waiting for you. I don't want to know! So I can go in your fan fiction. <laughs> I'm waiting for you with my hammer. You can call me Bray. <laughs> Oh my god, this is too much. Um, <laughs> that was hilarious. Um, that, that, I don't really get the point of that speaking to no, them. Well, I don't know why you had the hammer. <laughs> it was a little bit weird. I wait of you. I, I get it if it was like his thing. Like he uses it to beat people up with. But they can't, they're not allowed to do that these days. They don't be, use sledgehammers I'm anymore. It's like we stop substitute for a sledgehammer. Mm. It looks rubber anyway, let's be yeah. honest. Yeah. Uh, then we had the Bella Twins um, going into Paige's locker room and taking her clothes. And Brian was there. Yeah. Weird, 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 weird. Why is he around the dude's locker, locker room? Maybe that's the only action he can get. Oh, maybe. Yeah. Wondering what they're doing. Brian's got quite a good skin, though. He does. He's quite Yeah, yeah I just want to yeah. touch his face. Hey, Brian. What do you use? <laughs> <laughs> um, you did L'Oreal. Because you're worth uh, and then the bench was on off and Paige uh, comes out literally straight after so it's not very believable yeah I mean, the they've just been chatting for a while and Paige's like Byron in a towel Byron where is the cult <laughs> it's like the Bellas went that way you didn't even look like oh yeah hello yeah, you just cool. kind of looked yeah, and they went that way <laughs> it's like okay yeah. they get too excited and then I love the fact she was in a towel but her hair went wet or anything or tied up or anything yeah, and her makeup, makeup was on <laughs> Plot the floor. Um, <laughs> and then she goes to run off and she sees the rose bars and there's a really delayed... And they just go... Oh, yeah! Oh, oh, the oh, toilet! Yeah. <laughs> it's all, me and Chorus were like, we're like, what is this? And then she's like, pulls one of the rose bars and puts an awful outfit into the chamber. So there's a bumblebee woman standing right next to her. Who we both said we would have chosen. Yeah, got that outfit. But the thing is, I don't think... Because this, this woman had quite big boobs. Yeah. I don't think Paint would have filled it out. Yeah, it wouldn't have kept up. But yeah, this one's got sleeves, so it'll stay up. I can't wait for our entrance to see it. Though. It's quite cool. Is it? Yeah. Because it's got wings. We're going to watch that now, actually. Yeah. So, uh, so we had uh, Summer Rae versus Paige. Why uh, Summer Rae? I know, I had that on SmackDown. It's not even Summer Rae. Yeah. Fox. Bring oh, it. I don't know, where has she been lately? Yeah. Um, and Paige came out in the. Uh, I don't even know what outfit Fair it was. Fair, yeah, oh. I think. It, what bugged me? Was it they played her music and then stopped it? It makes it look like she's being all shy, but then she came out and like owned it. It was just kind of like not make sense. Did yeah, it? it was like you can't let her back down because basically what they're playing is Mean Girls at the moment. Yeah, they're playing Nicki and Bria like oh, yeah, with, like whatever. And Paige is like oh, I don't really care. And the thing is, to make a good like this is WWE's moment to make a good role model for the girls. Mm. Paige is it. And the thing is, well, I think Naomi's better, but still. Yeah. Paige is it from the whole mainstream point. And she's the whole, I don't care what you think. Which is exactly what she said later on anyway. Mm. But it's like, I don't need a good outfit to be good and all this. But she didn't play it at first until she came out. And I think she could have owned it a bit more. I'm yeah. like, I look good, yeah. Like that kind of thing. And the thing is, it didn't look that bad, to be honest. No, anyway. it, didn't. And it didn't. But the thing is, they stole her outfit. Her outfit was underneath. <laughs> you can see it. <laughs> they could have at least colour coordinated, you know, like pink underwear or something. But whatever. But it was just a standard match. It wasn't really special. Summer Rae does her typical Shannon like yeah. bollocks. Yeah. And she like she's like a gazelle. That's what she reminds me of. <laughs> He's a gazelle, guys. <laughs> um, and Paige basically won, and the Bellas come out. You can look, but you can't touch. And Nikki, did Nikki say something? She was just like, oh, you look good, no, stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, which is what Summer Rae was doing as well, but it didn't look bad. No, it didn't. I don't get it. <laughs> it just... They're just playing the kind of mean girls, and it's just like, it's it's great that Paige's like, oh, I don't need an outfit to be good and all this. Yeah, that's what she says in response. Yeah, which is fair play, but I think they needed to make Paige own it a bit more and be like, I look good, I don't really care, like, look at me. Yeah, get the Instagram, like, that's yeah. what she should have done. But she, um... She could have played up to it a lot more and could have stood up for the whole I'm um, strong character, but they didn't. Which is, it's kind of making the Bellas look stronger than they need to be. Yeah. I really don't think they need to be. They need to, this is their moment to be like, hey, stand up to them people. And they're, they're making the Bellas a bit too strong. And the thing is, it's childish for yeah. when they're grown adults as well, but... That's how the Divas do it. Yeah. And uh, Paige also said something on the lines of, I'll, I don't think I'll be wearing... Like Fastlane is 
that Davis Championship. They keep calling it WWE Fastlane. It's Fastlane. Yeah. It's not WWE Hell in a Cell. It's not WWE WrestleMania. It's just WrestleMania Hell in a Cell. Why is it WWE Fastlane? It is just Fastlane. There's nothing else called Fastlane. I don't really get it. Yeah. It's just, I don't know. It but doesn't flow really nice. Annoying. No. It's Fastlane. It's Fastlane. Um, so we had Seth Rollins who come out with Jane Jessica and he had a little chat. It was President's Day or something and he was saying, I, like, I could be president, but I'm not old enough. I could, yeah. <laughs> it's like, well, you can't then, can you? No. <laughs> it was a stupid comment. And he was like, I could be the that host on blah, blah. What's the program? Late night. It wasn't late night with Jimmy Fallon. Really. This is a show? The, the late show, it's all like that. What was today? The Tonight Show? It's all like that. It's all like that. We're not American, we don't know. Um, <laughs> then Dolph Ziggler would come out and he was quite funny. He was quite good actually. Yeah. He was like, oh, so Seth's in a bad mood because he had a bad Valentine's Day. And obviously, like, a day for Valentine's Day always yeah. news got leaked, so it was really funny. And uh, he was saying something like, oh, Triple H tie, tie you in too tightly in mm. the car. Or, or did you get the wrong chocolates from JJ Security? Yeah. Or did, like, you get the talk from. The birds the bees. and the bees. <laughs> it was H. Like, he did the Triple H voice perfectly. Yeah. <laughs> it was really good. It was actually really funny. Um, you can see Seth was trying not to laugh himself, I think. Mm. He was just like, oh my god. Um, I've noticed Dolph has a lot of chemistry with a lot of them. Yeah. I, mean, I reckon one, he's likeable, like backstage. Yeah, I reckon a lot of people get on with him. Yeah. Which is good, it's what he needs. Yeah. Because um, everyone just hates each other. Um, but I think that's why Dolphy is so good. And, you know, it's a really bitchy company considering it's mostly men. Yeah, they're it's all very. It's bitchy. all very ego dominated. Yeah, and, but Dolph seems to get on with a lot of them, and I think that's why his character goes so well with a lot. That's why he has such good matches. But saying that, he's not going to get anywhere if he doesn't push. Yeah, like, he needs not. to. You know, it's the kind of company where you do need to stab a few people in the back to get yeah. what you want. Unfortunately, yeah. that's the way the world works. But if we ran it, it wouldn't be. No, we'd make it nice. We'd be fair to everyone. Yeah. And if you shit, you fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> um, back to NXT and then back to TNA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so they had the match, actually. Um, and it was, it was actually okay. I mean... Um, I don't even remember it. There wasn't this. a lot of highlights, but I thought like they'd go in somewhere with this between Dolph Rent, and Seth. Yeah. And I think that'd be a good idea. Especially if Seth cashes in and Dolph wins one in the bank. Yeah. That'd be quite nice. It would give Dolph a... a Dolph needs a push because he's become John Cena's shadow. Yeah. He, John Cena ain't doing anything now anyway. He needs a goal. Yeah, he hasn't got one. He's pointless. Yeah. He's now just fighting the authority. For no reason. <laughs> when the authority's starting to die down a little bit anyway. Yeah. They're just bringing it back up fast though for an extra match. Yeah. It's time for that. Yeah. Um, and then Ryback and... Uh, Ryback. And Jane and Security actually interrupted, so this is why... I, the match come to an end and that's really irritating because they need to stop interrupting yeah. matches it's irritating me and that's when Ryback and Eric Brown come out which is obviously the reason for this whole yeah, thingy right. at um, Fastlane but it's like the match at Fastlane is Big Show and Kane and that has nothing to do with what's just happened I don't no. really understand why, they, why that's happened no. but you know what else? Um, and then we had um, Triple H come out and he was about to talk about Rick, uh, not Rick Flair talk about Sting and then Ric Flair came out and they had a bit of a chat and obviously I get it well I didn't get it first um, and then they eventually got to the point after about 10 minutes yeah. because Ric Flair had this massive long feud with Sting yeah which I get but I don't understand why this needed to be dragged out for so long it was like no. 15 minutes 20 minutes long of talking and it just didn't work and then it ended up even though Ric Flair had this long feud with Sting he was actually backing up Sting and it's like well you used to be a tag team with Triple H it didn't make really make sense yeah um and then he's like, oh, Triple H is like, well, not being funny. Like, Ric Flair's basically saying things really good. Don't, like, count a chicken sweet hatch. Mm. And Triple H is like, I know you're good, but you're not Triple H type thing. Yeah. Um. So then Ric Flair retaliated saying, well, make sure Sunday at Fastlane you're not sitting on your ass again in the middle Did of the ring. Did he say WWE Fastlane? No, he said Fastlane. Oh, he well, said well Fastlane. Leave it to the professional. Yeah. <laughs> and um, then... Triple H got quite angry about this, said some stuff and pushed Ric Flair on the floor, which is not very nice. You don't push old people. No, you're not putting the right message. Is Ric Flair getting fired now? Oh my god, it's going to happen. Um, and so then that was it, and they played Ric Flair's music, which was really odd. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't really make sense. But every time I see Ric Flair on Raw, he's on his ass. Yeah. <laughs> Another thing with, um, who was it, Big Show? Yeah, pushed him over. Yeah. 
You can just like to push it. Oh, yeah. oh, that's so rude. What has he <laughs> done right. to you? Rick, can I say? <laughs> <laughs> and then we had a match. It was the Ascension of oh, Rook uh, versus yeah. Darren Young. He's back from injury. And some other kid. I think his name's Kieran. Kieran. I don't know who a he jobber. is. Jobber. He's just some random person. Some random dude that turned up. It's practically a jobber. Yeah. And they had this match against the Ascension. And what? then. I think essentially got disqualified again from like from being. Well, they didn't even wait for the bell to start fighting him. No, and then Titus O'Neil come out and like be uh, help help Darren Young beat up the attention, and it was like, what's happening to Gates later? Yeah, unless this is going to become let's go against New Day and last three against the three. But he Heath Slater didn't come out. No, no. I think he's just ditched Heath Slater and not even told him. But they were together last week. I know, it's what it don't make sense. To yeah. be the smack they'll be together again. Yeah. <laughs> Continuity, but guys. Apparently, I got told that Darren Young and Titus O'Neil was attacked before Darren y- Young got injured, but yeah. they haven't done it the right way by just completely just... Yeah, by his Heath Slater. Slater. Like, what was he Slater going to do now? What's yeah. his purpose? He That's can't be gone. <laughs> he can't be gone. I refuse to believe that. Okay. Um, and then we had a speaking segment. Fuck it, how many times have we said it this? It's just... <laughs> oh, it's just a night of talking. Um, oh, it was The Miz and Bad News Barrett. Um, so basically, uh, Bad News Barrett has a match against Damien Miz down tonight. And Miz is like, if you beat him and teach him tough love, I'll stop... Um, Dean Ambrose from attacking you and making you sign that contract. And they're like, okay. I don't know why I'm talking, trying to talk English. I am English. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so then, if we had an ad about it, it cut, it cut to the actual match. We missed out on Baron's Barrett. And uh, Miz was on the outside sitting on his chair with a little bell. And uh, whenever Miz Dow oh. got in control, he rung the bell and had the microphones. Like, no, Miz Dow, you need to stop. Come, come and si- like come and shine my shoe because I can't see my reflection in it, and it was just it's stupid. Silly. It it feels like it's a Disney Channel children's show. Yeah, right. First off, but not only is it making Miss Dow be incredible, un- no one wants Miss Dow now. They're just like he's boring now. Yeah, but it's also making Miss look freaking pathetic. It is. It's making Miss look stupid. It's ruining the both of them. And yeah, I, they need to know that, especially because they've got no. Anywhere. It, yeah, it's against Bad News Barrett, but Bad News Barrett is going against Dean. Yeah. This was irrelevant, and it, this was purely a ploy to get Dean to come on. They just think it's up for them two to do. And it's still, it was pointless, and no one cares about him anymore because the gimmick is now. Nah. They don't in such a bad way. Yeah. And, and that'd be funny, but the storylines are so childish, it's, it's going to make everyone who's a child watching WWE turn out to be a brat. Yeah, that's all it's doing. It's yeah. not actually doing anything mm. good. Like it's just poor. Like we're sitting yeah. there, like, what are we even watching? These are grown adults who are role models. Like if I was them, I'd be like, oh, well, I'm not doing that. Like yeah. that's just stupid. Like I would, if someone turned around to me, right, and said, okay, you're gonna ring a bell every time Coral's fighting, and every time she gets like some motivation, you've got to ring a bell and tell her to come and sign the shoe. I'd be like, fuck off, I'm not doing that. <laughs> that's just that's just yeah. pointless. Like, I get it when it's on a Disney Channel show, these are essentially children. You know what I mean? But we're grown adults who are wrestlers. These are role, these yeah. are proper role models, you know what I mean? These are the people that go, when I grow up, I want to be like them. It's silly. And not be funny, but led, like, WWE need to think from a different perspective. Their demographics are a massive age range. Yeah. They're not just children. They're just cutting out a whole... Yeah. They're cutting out a whole sector. Oh, which, for about 16 plus. Yeah, which actually can afford to buy their merch, to buy their tickets. They're cutting yeah. out and buy their cable channel. They're cutting out a lot of they're the sector everything. that you can actually buy Yeah, because the, young, the younger audience aren't going to be the ones who can um, buy stuff. Yeah. So it just doesn't make sense. And then we... Um, so then uh, Dean Ambrose actually come out and he tied Bad News Barrett to the pole. Yeah. And made him sign the contract, which was actually pretty good, yeah. to be fair. It was, like, to be fair, it was a little bit old school. Yeah, yeah, it was good, wasn't it? It was, quite, it was quite nice to see it. But, I mean, he signed an illegal contract on TV being forced to do it. So yeah. I can't stand. <laughs> um, yeah. But Dean looked much more enthusiastic about this segment yeah, rather than the one where he was wearing a suit. Yeah. I, I feel like he had more of a... Yeah, influence on this. Then we had Bray Wyatt with a hammer again, <laughs> which is very uh, strange. Hmm. I don't know what he's up to. No, he's he's doing some DIY. Yeah, it was actually. <laughs> he was having money. 
Yeah. <laughs> oh my god, how funny. Um, and then we had a mixed tag. It was Jimmy, Uso and Naomi against Tyson Kidd and Natalia. I it's basically just a Divas match with them two on the outside, really. Yeah. Um, Cesaro and um, Jay Uso were there too, but they didn't really do much. Around. They were just kind of watching. Yeah. Um, and yes, yeah, so Nat- Nat- Natalia and Naomi pretty much carried that whole match, really. And um, there was a bit at the end, which was the end of the match. There was three false, two false pins of a roll up, and then Naomi got the last one. Thank God, Naomi got it. Yeah, and it was also funny. And Natalia was underneath the rope; she could have easily just grabbed the rope <coughs> and got out of it. But obviously, they didn't take that into account. Natalia's in rubbish now. She's not as good as she was. She did a couple mm. good like flip ups and stuff, but in court, she needs to call for into that into her mm. wrestling not just for showing off yeah so then like Natalia's like oh I lost the match and Cesaro's coming and he's having a go at her <laughs> and Tyson Kidd's like what are you doing <laughs> yeah it was so funny he <laughs> was like yeah yeah and then Tyson uh, Cesaro's like it's okay we're the tag we're the tag yeah. team and it was their just bromance is brilliant their like, bromance is good we stick together man yeah so that was actually quite good it, their bromance is like what makes it so funny yeah but they need to get more involved with the Usos there's not much involvement no it doesn't flow properly yet I'm hoping that fast and it proper comes together and they yeah. can show off because they haven't really done like a proper they've done one match and then I felt like they were really yeah. holding back I feel like at fast lane it's yeah. gonna be a ama- ma it's gonna be the match. I think it's gonna no. be amazing. I'll be disappointed if it ain't. Oh uh, yeah, I'll be disappointed if it's a bit boring. Yeah. yeah. So then we had Roman Reigns come out uh for the Daniel Bryan and Big Show match. It was so slow and boring, as what you expect from Big Show, really. And Daniel Bryan has to cooperate with that. A lot of sleeper holds. Yeah. Too many actually. Mm-hmm. It was Probably already, but why is Danny Bryan in the main event for everything? I don't really understand. Yeah, didn't pass care on you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, that happened, and there wasn't really much to really say about the match itself. It was just, just waiting for it to, to be over, to be honest. And, I'm tired um, and I don't care anymore. Yeah, got to that point. Danny Bryan's about to jump off the top rope onto Big Show, and uh, Roman Reigns come in and Superman punched him. Uh, Big Show, that is. <laughs> <laughs> just the camera. He no much Big Show, and this is because um, just before this happened, Big Show accidentally spit Roman Reigns on the outside. Um, so that's why Roman Reigns got mad and Superman punch Big Show. Um, and as the match was actually going on, Roman Reigns was doing autographs and handing out t-shirts. That's the most exciting thing that happened during the match. Yeah, that was actually. Mm. Um, yeah. It's just. Mm. And there was like, because obviously Big Show then won, and he just walked off, which is really weird. Yeah, I don't know he'd get involved. And uh, Roman Reigns and Daniel Bryan had this massive brawl for like five minutes that I didn't even care about. That was the length of a Miss Down match. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it got longer. Yeah, I think it was. That was Miss Down match in a talking segment. Yeah, basically. Paul Heyman. <laughs> it was just, I, I'm bored of it. I really and know. the thing is, it hasn't even been a thing for that long. No, it's not. It doesn't work. No. I'm bored and I don't care. And it's just like, get them all. They went to the crowd for a bit. Mm. Which is not like, for a while. Yeah, exactly. I haven't done that for a while. But it took like 20 reps just to separate them. Yeah. It's probably all the writers dressed up. <laughs> and um, They're all incompetent, aren't they? Though? They are. It's like, if that was a fight outside a nightclub, it'd take, what, two bounces, <laughs> maybe three, to sort it out. Not even that, probably just the one. Like, oi. Yeah, oi, stop it. Stop it. But okay, so shall we say? <laughs> it took like 20 rounds to all come out and sit out, and they went on the table, they were lying on the floor, just having a cuddle, really, weren't they? Um, yeah. And the referees finally managed to separate them, and Roman Reigns bleeding them from the mouth again. He's just got gum disease. <laughs> Second time isn't bleeding. Yeah, it keeps happening. It's just yeah. like, I'm bloating. Gum disease. Yeah. First sign of gum disease. Get yourself a cord of seal. Call it a chorus, I don't know, I just remember, you said it so, like, get yourself some, <laughs> like a doctor. Yeah, get yourself some medical mouthwash. This doctor's is terrible. Mm. Did you hear that the doctor, um, who CM Punk accused of misdiagnosing him, has now sued CM Punk for a million pounds? Really? No, no, not million pounds, million dollars, because he has now not got a career and they're false claims. This is about the lump on his back. Yeah. It re- it's come out recently in the last couple of days. Oh, that's funny. It's like, oh, Of course God. Punk's going to win that. Yeah. It's like, there's probably, like, 
evidence for it as well. Yeah, like, yeah. it'll be on his medical record. Yeah, you can have a doctor. It's fucking. If they're, if, well, if their medical records are like, and surely oh, that doctor's gonna have you. medical records of CM Punk saying he's fine as well. Yeah, but apparently he's like he never come up to me with this back thing. It's like really Are you sure. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> so that's on his case. So interesting. Keep but an eye on that. I'm still I'm a bit fed up with all the CM Punk rubbish now. I'm just fed up with everything. <laughs> I'm fed up with everything. I want to go to bed. <laughs> what should you write, Carol? Rubbish. Um, <laughs> one. Mm. Wait, a one. A one. It's not good to see as fast as Sunday. No, <laughs> but I think fast as going to be rubbish as well. Uh, yeah, not not good. Maybe. Anyway, like, share, subscribe, follow us, retweet, retumble, tweet us. Yeah. Check out our new travel blog. <laughs> yeah, we've got a blog coming out, guys. <laughs> not for WWE purposes, no, but, but it's on WWE Girl Talks now. Yeah. Because we might be trying to change it. Um, so if you change it on there, it changes it on here. Yeah, you can't be having that now. You're no. by priority. Yeah, I know. Um, so yeah, enjoy. And we'll get graphs to you soon. Oh yeah! I was thinking we should just put them on Tumblr. Yeah, I think so. Might as well. Yeah. Goodbye. See ya.